Tuto uli kwa pani nani Na tuwabeshe babo kama tinani Success knowledge Tie pani kibela kube babo Hi, good morning sensories In this tutorial We are going to place our focus through Mathematics divine A topic called variation And under variation We should understand there is a direct variation Where you only deal with two letters there is an inverse variation where you deal with three letters. And there is a joint variation, which is the combination of the direct variation and the inverse variation. We are going to use a 2021 paper GC exam in order to prepare adequately for an exam using question 15. It says, given that Z varies as X, just here, we are going to find that Z varies as x. Saying varies as x is as good as saying varies directly as. Directly as means the same as. So when you write z, you put the variation symbol, write x again, the same way you wrote z. And then we continue and inversely as the square of y. So this means I'm going to say multiply it by Inverse simply means the thing you are talking about is a fraction. But before we proceed, there is a bigger difference between square of and square root. When we say square of, it means what is being described is that to the variable being given, we are supposed to raise it to the power of 2. Square of means x to the power 2. Square root of means the square root, then x in the square root symbol. So this is the difference. Now they have said, and the inversely as the square of y, we're going to say 1 over y squared. And then we're going to turn this into an equation. Well, we're going to say z, where there is a variation symbol, we replace an equal sign. Then we say over 1. x multiplied by 1 is x. Over 1 multiplied by y squared is y squared. So this is the equation we're going to be using. But when you do this, you're supposed to attach the, va the, va the variable k, which is able to represent the constant variation. And when you have a fraction, it becomes a combination of the numerator together with it. So this becomes z equals kx over y squared. Having done that, it means if there was a question saying, find the equation connecting z, x, and y, it would have been z equals kx over y squared. Suppose I had z varies directly as x. If I turned it into an equation, I would probably say, if I remove this variation symbol, I will bring in the equal sign together with k combined with the other letter that side. So that's what it means. So here, we're going to say our equation is z equals kx over y squared. And on a, they're trying to say, find the value of k, the constant variation. To find k, we need to be given the value of z, x as well as y. So the z and z is 3 x is 8 and y is 4. The first values given in the statement or in the actual question where k is asked are supposed to be turned as the values to help find the value of k. So z is 3 equals k multiplied by x is 8 over y is 4 multiplied by 4 because y is raised to the power 2. This simply means I'm going to multiply it twice consecutively. Then I'm going to say this is 3 equals to k multiplied by 8 is 8k, everything over 4 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 16. Then this is going to give us that is over 1, we cross multiply. 8k times 1 is going to give us 8k equals 3 multiplied by 16. So I'm going to say 8k equals to 3 multiplied by 16. Then I'm going to divide by 8, divide by 8. 8 and 8 cancels, so k equals 8 here, 1. 8 into 16, 2. So 3 times 2 is going to give us a 6. So this means the value of k is 6 as the constant variation. And an emphasis I can place is that 
when you find the value of k wrong, it means even your question, the rest of the questions answering is also going to be wrong. So let's see. So on B, on B, we're trying to say the value of Z when X equals 18 and Y equals 3. Having to be given that, it means go back to your original equation, replace K as a value, then you can evaluate whatsoever can be given as a question because the others will be given as values. So it was Z equals K X over Y squared. This means y there is k, we are going to replace with a 6. Find the value of z when x equals to 18. So I am going to say 6 multiplied by 18 over, then they are saying y is 3, which means I am going to say 3 times 3. And then I am going to say z equals 6 multiplied by 18 over 3 times 3, this is going to give us a 9. Hence z equals 9 here, 1, 9 there, 2. 6 times 2 is going to give us a 12. And having done that, it means we have found the value for z. z equals 6x over y squared. So our main intention is to find z. So we bring down this 6, but the value of x has been given. Now that these are combined, we are going to multiply 6 times 18 in paper 1. Considering that this is not the only question, it's going to take us a lot of time. We can rather be able to multiply on the denominator side, having to result in one number. It will be very easy to evaluate because this will be divisible in this. So 9 here, 1, 9 into 18, two. multiply it with the remaining 6, hence giving us a 12. And then lastly, lastly, we're trying to say the values of y, even the language now, is plural. When x is 30 and z is 5. So z equals 2, that is 6x over y squared. While there is z, z, they said we put a 5, and then we're going to find that this is going to be 6 multiplied by, while there is x, we're going to replace with the 30, everything over y squared. Remember, we're finding the values, not the value. So I'm going to say this is going to be 5 equals to 6 times 3 is going to give us, that is 18, so this becomes 180 over y squared, everything over 1. Then we're going to cross multiply. 5 times y squared, we're going to have 5, y squared equals to 1 times 180 is going to give us 180. We're going to divide by 5. We're also going to divide by 5. So 5 and 5 cancels. Y squared equals to 36. So we're going to find that we are looking for the value of y. Now that it is squared, we're supposed to introduce a square root. So when you introduce the square root and the square root that side, the square and the square root cancels. Y equals the square root of any number is the same number that would be a positive or a negative. That means the square root has got two values. The number we can multiply two times to get 36 is 6. So it's going to be y equals positive or negative 6. Or we can be able to say y equals 6 or y equals negative 6. So these are the answers to the 21 to 1 GCE exam. And I hope the same very lesson can be able to give you that confidence and that self-dependence in order at least to develop self-reliance on some other questions so that as you are preparing for the exam in the tight time remaining you may be able to emerge victoriously make sure to grab a paper after this video and always ensure that you pause where you haven't understood especially in order to see to it that at the end of watching the video you are able to answer some of the exam relatable questions this has been mr sensor and for this kind of maybe a video it would be so relevant that at least you can be able to use a 2022 or a 2019 paper one gc exam and see the same very things so that at the end of the day in the next two months you do the most otherwise stay focused